Even when I took the source laboratory, this can be found back in the tunnel. However, you would do well to first travel to the edge of the tunnel house and see a man named Abrosak. For as a researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of your questions. <laughs> Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that boom go to waste. I shan't allow any further harm to hold to you. Well, I'm sure I'm right where it comes. My magic can use a weapon in the fury of the elements. You truly are formidable, Arisen. Our teeth. What failed to destroy us only increases our chances against future adversaries.
Yon path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. Tis not for us to gain the Arisen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. Would you mind coming over here? The structure in the water? I'm convinced this altar could be that whatever's down there is the source of all these blue shut. Holds well, I trust. This place offers a view of the sea. I wonder what lies at its bottom. Who are you? Uh, no, n never mind, it is of little import. I'm searching for blue crystal shards. Find any, and I'll pay you handsomely. The bigger they are, the higher your reward will be. Master, I have experienced that quest on a journey beyond the rift. If you require guidance, you have but to ask. I'll pick that up. We might have need of it. Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. The Arisen comes. Is this meeting also by the Dragon's design? You may be pitted against the Dragon, yet its fate is yours to share. Forgive me, but I've ne'er heard of such a thing. However, some years past, a sorcerer of Batal came to me seeking knowledge of the dragon, just as ye have. Faces, sir, I believed he called him. It appeared his intent was to alter the will of the world through mortal means. Perhaps there is some connection. Ye need not seek the dragon. It will find ye. Aye, make no mistake. The dragon will appear before ye when the time is come. Still, I suppose I can tell ye about a rumor I heard the other day. After all, now that ye have been marked as arisen, the dragon ought next appear before ye at the appointed time. So it stands to reason that e'en if a creature of draconic aspect and destructive powers 
did appear in that village, twas no dragon. A mockery of one, perhaps, but not the dragon true. The substance of which ye speak is formed of crystallized droplets of dragon blood. Worm's life crystals can be obtained not only from the true red dragon, but from lower drakes as well. They retain a measure of draconic power, and when used correctly, will bestow upon ye powers that eclipse the will of this world. The dragon is the embodiment of destructive force. Understand this. The concepts of good and evil are mortal inventions, and thus cannot be applied to the dragon. It is a being of our as are ye. Now that the dragon has marked ye, setting ye apart from your fellows, then go. Since times of eld, dragon blood has been used to refine all manner. Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Then I bid ye farewell. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of coin. Found any blue crystal shards? Is that all? Tiny fragments such as these aren't nearly good enough. Still, I expect I'll find a use for them here. Take... Tis a god's sway. Well, to be precise, the crystalline substance from which it is made. By refining such crystals, anyone can attain the power of the Arisen. The power to command pawns. However, small fragments are meaningless. They cannot contend with the Arisen's power, you see. Speaking of which, should you find any large fragments, bring them to me, won't you? Though that might be difficult, we've scoured this area quite thoroughly, I should think. It is possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers or collectors or... Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the Dragonforged would be able to aid you in locate... Pray, follow me. I know the way. So there's no chance of our getting lost. About... or so I'd like to say, but it's getting rather late. Best spend the night. We can talk again come morning. Ah, good. You're awake. Look to the sea, my friend. Hard to resist setting out in one's boat with fair skies like these, eh? <laughs> now, I've told you about the sunken temple in the middle of the sea, haven't I? I, I'm quite sure I mentioned it. But I ne'er spoke of the man who resides there. He was such a worthy ruler in life that his armies safeguard him even in death. As he himself would have it. He was once entrusted with the task of watching over this world from the heavens above. Yet he tired of his duty, and abandoned his perch in the sky in favor of founding a small kingdom on the ground. Alas, though he was a just and goodly ruler, there is not a single person alive who remembers his name. Ooh, it sounds unfortunate, but if you ask me, it is all a matter of perspective. It can be a blessing to forget, and to be forgotten. I should know. In all my long years, I've never forgotten a single thing. I remember everything. Every little detail. Would that I could forget some of it. <laughs> a lie it may seem, but a lie it is not. I speak only the truth, as you well know. Come see me again, if it pleases you. <laughs> I've tales are plenty to share.
Heavens, Fen. I'd ne'er seen the like. I'd not known there were ruins in the depths of this cavern till the path appeared. Twas magic, methinks. I should have liked to investigate if the place hadn't been crawling with monsters. I'll be needing sturdier arms than these afore I head back in there, I fear. At any rate, I'd best report this discovery to my commander. I only pray North Grave shall come of it. I admire your dedication, Master. Seems aught has occurred within the depths of Stormwind Cave. But what? I'm not sure what to tell you. It's hard to find my footing in this darkness. A cave. Shall we proceed into the depths? We'd best be prepared to make our own light before we proceed. I believe. Chest. I shall take a look inside. We cannot break it from this side. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. So, oh, another comes seeking to inter me. Yet your wicked schemes will avail you not, watching one. Time and again have you sent unto me your minions. Yet repel them I have, and so I shall anew, till I might claim the true world as mine own. Why do you not draw your Blade. <laughs> this battle shall be o'er before it has even begun. You seek not my death. Hmm. Then you are not of the watching one. 
I am Rothas, founder of the Kingdom of Vermund. And you appear to be a reason. Tell me your reason for coming here. God's way. Hmm. Speak you of those trinkets conjured by the wizards of... Even from these depths, I have beheld the Batali scuttling about. It's a baleful, maddening act to transmute the fractured souls of Arisen into such frivolous baubles. Aye, that which you seek is a soul much like your own. Yet rarely will you find one intact for splinters are all the remain of those pitiful arisen who were bade come here by the watching one to end me. The flesh may rot, the soul fragment, yet power, power endures. And would seem the Batali seek to augment this power through their perverted arts. Yet it is folly, the frolicking of children. Such a trinket could ne'er hope to fell the dragon, let alone the watching one. I know little of your intent, but I sense in you I shall grant you this blade. It too is the soul of an arisen, mine own, in fact. Refined in purest dragon blood. Alas, the ages have taken their toll. Tis as withered as mine own flesh. Yet, mayhap, the Batali's profane magics would be capable of drawing forth its late potency. If that is what you seek, Arisen, then go on to their stronghold. I believe tis there you shall find the means to achieve it. An unlikely location for a path. Mayhap it leads to a hidden hoard of treasure. Pray keep your wits about you. You needn't go barging in.
Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. If you've anything edible, I'll gladly lessen your burden. Tis a great treasure, but of little use to us. There's no harm in keeping it on a skeleton, Master! door of sturdy make. It will be impossible without the key. Let us return once we've the key in hand. I'll be with you in but a moment. to think of it. We're all of differing vocations, aren't we? What is it? If you're looking for Lord Ambo, from what I understand, you're still willing to pay for blue crystal shirts. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's aught to be found while we're here? You can... Reach of their talents! 
Fall back, and I will heal you with my magics. Wait a moment. If I am to prove my theory... What was the missive that just arrived? Oh, you know. The usual. From Vermin. Bound straight for the archives, not to be opened. Another one? What is the director up to? Well, never mind that. Did we get any other delivery? Surely you're not expecting another one of your love letters. Why, just the other day, you were warned not to use this address for personal correspondence. You really mustn't be so imprudent. Need I remind you that if word of our activities here was to get out, we could be shut down. Yes, yes, I'm well aware of that, thank you. Now come, enough gossiping. We've work to be getting on with. This is all wrong. What use are pitiful fragments such as these? What we have achieved is sufficient to sway the pawns. But when the time comes to fell the dragon, I fear it may not be enough. Lord Phasus insists we shall succeed, and yet... Ah, a new hand, are you? Have you some business with me? Why? Tis an arisen's. This... This is incredible. But why do you possess such a thing? Where did you obtain it? No. Never mind. Tis of no... Co All that matters is this. With this alone, I shall be able to craft a soup. I must make haste that I might deliver it to Lord Faces, but wait, no. I have not the worm's life crystals to restore it. Consult it all! Ha <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. Do you even understand what you are offering? Worm's life crystal- but I suppose Lord Phasus is satisfied with the God's way as tis, you see. And as I can expect no support from him, you can expect little aid from me.
Though I suppose twouldn't do to send you away entirely empty-handed. Now, as I've said, Worm's Life Crystal's all the better if it happens to be a lesser dragon. You've returned. And have you obtained any Worm's Life Crystal? You have. Incredible! That is no small feat. I must admit, I had not thought you much chance of six. Yet here you are. And this, this is precisely what I require to complete my work. I shan't delay. Come by again tomorrow, by then. Oh, it is finished. The result is even more sublime than I'd hoped. <laughs> I must deliver it to Lord Phasus at once. Though, mayhap. Now, I cannot leave this in your hands. I may not be fleet of foot, but only I can do this. Wait, I... I've changed my mind. You take it. Deliver the blade to Lord Faces. You won't reach him in time. Go now. Make haste for Moonglint Tower. There your journey will come to an end. One way or another. Then I wish you good fortune. So this is where you were, Master. I searched high and low for you. Do take care not to stray so far next time. I shall remain by your side. This gigantus friend or foe? I should like to know its purpose. Where is it headed? I cannot but fear it will bring ruin wherever it treads.
have seen what's needed here amidst what we have in storage. Soon. I fear we are all lost. We all press on, my lord. Mine's not the stone puppets, then. We move. It arose from the sea. What could have summoned it?
might already have what we seek. So Success. Our foe hasn't even noticed aught's been pilfered. Well now, if it have you come for a dip in the hot spring? Or may have <laughs> brilliant. That's kind of ye. I was just craving some more of this. Suppose I could oblige a fellow arisen. What? Hadn't you noticed? That's a bit embarrassing, eh? I'm a former arisen. Mine. One who couldn't fell his dragon. And if there's aught more shameful than that, I've yet to hear of it. In my case, it all came down to a lack of skill. Mayhap I could fell such a beast now, but my dragon's long gone. Brings a tear to your eye, don't it? But don't cry for me, cuz. Just know that you've got my full support. I'll be glad to see ye succeed where I once failed. Only, don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. Bring your dragon love and taste glory eternal. I've just remembered. I've got something for you, cuz. Here you are. Reckon you. Heart was beset by assailants it could not shake. And this is the result. Wrought by the hands of brigands or the claws of monsters. Careful now. It would seem the stone puppet has stopped. Have the wounded been tended to? Yes, my lord. Good. I trust you are prepared, Sovereign of Vermont. W will it really be all right? I I'm not about to be charred, am I? Fear not. You are in no danger. The dragon shall be under my control when it appears. Come, let us press onward. The flicker of a shadow, the gleam of an eye, the echo of a footfall. If we...
Tis some manner of device. Shall we activate it, Arisen? We pawns will be ready to respond, whatever the outcome. Vermin, the ritual must not be disturbed. Let not the Arisen approach. You can manage that, I trust. Simply watch as this world's hollow and fruitless order is remade by my hand. The ritual is complete. The dragon comes. Dragon. By my power, the dogma of dragons is unmade. You could ne'er understand a risen We must all be freed from the vulgar order wherein the dragon's existence determines all.
prison. You've doomed us all to a cycle. A new... <laughs> Greetings arisen. Hast thou summoned the resolution to face me? Then answer me this. Why dost thou fight? Is it to reclaim thy flesh, thy stolen heart? Or is it to reclaim thy throne? I offer thee a choice. Grant unto me this life in my cause, and be gone from this place. Or stand and fight. Pitiable arisen. The time for thou to make thy choice is come. Show me the path thou wouldst walk. Go, and thou shalt live to claim thy coveted throne. Fight and thy life is forfeit. Thou wilt face the dragon's dogma. Thou art 
too late. The hour is upon us. We must decide a victor. And in so doing, form a link in the chain that bind at this wheel. Tell me, Arisen, what is thy desire? Is it a snake? on your cliff.
I shall draw its focus.
Why do you need to sue me, Arisa? You have fulfilled your charge, and you're not satisfied. Seek you greater status. Perhaps to rule the world in time. Desire, you need merely spy out the path. The choice is thine, Arisen. By thy will alone can the course of the winds of fate be altered. Still resist your fate. Understand you the folly of such a decision. Even the beating of your reclaimed heart was born of the great will of this world. Yet you would abandon it. Everything in this world. All that you have come to know as reality is the creation of the Great Will. Should that will be lost, no mortal being can survive. However, if regret yet assails your spirit, then perhaps you should reaffirm your choice. Witness with your own eyes, or through the eyes of another, the fate of this world. 